so again, this is the neutral and the blue is marked light and that's going to go to the black. And so we're going to hook those things up directly and bypass the switch. So this fan is controlled by this switch. Now what I don't know, I don't know if it's on a three-way and because right now uh, this is this is this is hot and so I'm going to find a circuit breaker and I'm going to shut the circuit breaker off so that I can be sure that if it's operated by a three-way then I'm not going to get a shock and also I can tell when I hit the right breaker because uh, the fan works by the wall and then I'll leave it on and once I find the right circuit breaker it'll shut the fan off and then I know that the power uh, to the light kit is turned off. Here's the switch. It's missing the pull chain. What we're going to do, since the switch, this light on the fan is operated by a wall switch, we really don't need the pull chain and all the pull chain is something to wear out, something for somebody to break and well if we don't really need it, why put it in? Uh, I mean these things are probably five, seven dollars. Um, uh, that's one more component that somebody could break. The neutral wire go, the neutral, the white wire goes to the neutral, and the black wire goes to the hot. And so we're gonna we disconnect this, and we're going to unscrew the light. It's got a little nut. I kind of unscrewed it already. So this is the switch. And what we're going to do is we're going to bypass the switch and hook the power directly into the black is going to go directly to here and the white goes to there. And so when you actuate the switch on the wall then it lights up and we don't even need to replace this because look this used to have a chain and the tenant pulled on it and yanked the thing out. I think they didn't realize that there was a wall switch and they probably kept pulling it and it broke. Uh, but anyway let's eliminate that problem altogether. Let's rewire this thing directly into the switch or into the. When I first hit the breaker on and hit the wall switch to turn the light kit on, it nothing worked only to find out that the light bulb that I grabbed actually was burnt out. So that uh, double check everything that you're doing. You never know. So here it is. Now I've checked everything. Everything's working and I know I can basically put everything back together. And what I do in addition to uh, putting the wire nuts on, make sure that the, when you put the wire nuts on that they're they screw on and they're tight uh, so that there's no chance of them coming off. I go ahead and I take a piece of black electrician tape about two to three inches long and I wrap it around the black wire nut. The fan is, uh, creates vibration, it does move and over the years it, it can loosen up the wire nut and uh, then you could potentially have a short circuit in the fan and this, this uh, the uh, black electrician's tape offers a little bit extra security and prevents that from happening. And the rest of this is pretty self-explanatory. Um, a little word when you are, you see these little decorative globes, they have three little set screws and you, you don't take the set screws out, you just unscrew them just enough to be able to take the globe off, otherwise it's kind of tricky to put those screws back in when you're elevated and you're upside down, etc. So this is pretty self-explanatory. Self, self uh, again, I'm sort of checking as I go. As soon as I put the light kit in and before I put all the globes on, I check to make sure that the light is working correctly. And then I put it together.